Here is the AI texturing process using a Modeler X for Zepito items. Using a Modeler X, you can complete a 3D model or, if you've imported a model from elsewhere, you can a model errors. It to make it editable within a modeler. This model must already be UV unwrapped. Before starting the mapping, you need to set up cameras to create textures uniformly. Depending on the outfit, create an appropriate number of cameras and place them so that there are no blind spots. For the pants used in this example, which have a simple shape and fewer obscured areas, we used four cameras. When positioning the cameras, ensure their views don't overlap. If areas overlap, when creating the texture, the overlap parts will be obscured and unusable. After setting up the cameras, enter painting mode. Choose the resolution and material. Since Zepito's maximum resolution is 512, we recommend using a size of 512 without additional image adjustments. Click the Start Painting button to enter painting mode. You will see an empty layer and the necessary tools for painting. Click the AI button for AI texture generation. If you've used Stable Diffusion before, the menu will look familiar. To create uniform textures, use the cameras you set up earlier. Create four slots using the Camera Creation button at the bottom. Use the Plus button to create a new slot, and the Minus button to remove one. Drag and drop the four cameras you previously created from the hierarchy into these slots. After setting your preferences and writing prompts, you can generate images with the Generate button. The Generate Custom Camera button creates images individually for each camera. The Generate All-in-One button uses the cameras in the slots to create a single image. For image continuity, use the Generate All-in-One button to generate a single image. Repeat this process until you get your desired image, then use the Apply Texture button to apply it. Clicking Apply Texture will create layers based on the number of cameras, with each layer displaying the image from its respective camera. Since we used a total of four cameras, you will see each image applied to four different layers. Toggle the layers on and off to inspect the images. Parts of the image facing the camera are sharp, while angled or opposite areas may be stretched or have a lower resolution. We will only use the front-facing sections of these images. Erase unnecessary parts from each layer using the eraser tool.
To color in parts, use the eyedropper tool to pick colors or the brush tool to paint. Using the 2D painting view will also help you paint areas that are obscured. Once all images are arranged, export them as a single image to use this texture. You can export it as a PNG file using the Export All button in the Map Source group at the bottom. Finish setting up and check the model and texture in the playground scene. If it displays correctly, the AI texturing is complete. 